I really want to include some poems by Stevie Smith, who was profoundly eccentric and also suffered from manic depressive illness. It's almost impossible to read her poems because they are so quirky and extraordinary. And if you've ever heard her um, read them or in fact sing them, as she sometimes did, um, there is no way you can approach the magical effect, but I will have a go just because I don't want to leave her out. And this one is called Thoughts About the Person from Porlock. You know, when Coleridge was writing Kubla Khan, um, he wrote that uh, he had got so far with it and then he was disturbed by a person from Porlock, which is a nearby village, and therefore wasn't able to finish his poem. Thoughts about the person from Porlock. Coleridge received the person from Porlock and ever after called him a curse. Then why did he hurry to let him in? He could have hid in the house. It was not right of Coleridge. In fact, it was wrong, but we often all do wrong. As the truth is, I think he was already stuck with Kublai Khan. He was weeping and wailing. I'm finished, finished. I shall never write another word of it when along came the person from Porlock and takes the blame for it. It was not right, it was wrong, but often we all do wrong. May we inquire the name of the person from Porlock? Why, Porson, didn't you know? He lived at the bottom of Porlock Hill, so had a long way to go. He wasn't much in the social sense, though his grandmother was a warlock, one of the Rutlandshire ones, I fancy, and nothing to do with Porlock. And he lived at the bottom of the hill, as I said, and had a cat named Flo, and had a cat named Flo. I long for the person from Porlock to bring my thoughts to an end. I am becoming impatient to see him. I think of him as a friend. Often I look out of the window, often I run to the gate. I think he will come this evening. I think it is rather late. I am hungry to be interrupted for ever and ever, amen. O person from Porlock, come quickly and bring my thoughts to an end. I felicitate the people who have a person from Porlock to break up everything and throw it away, because then there will be nothing to keep them and they need not stay. Why do they grumble so much? He comes like a benison. They should be glad he has not forgotten them. They might have had to go on. These thoughts are depressing, I know. They are depressing. I wish I was more cheerful. It is more pleasant. Also, it is a duty. We should smile as well as submitting to the purpose of one above who is experimenting with various mixtures of human character which goes best. All is interesting for him, it is exciting, but not for us. There I go again. Smile, smile, and get some work to do. Then you will be practically unconscious without positively having to go.